Hello everyone, welcome to Unicorn Light Tarot. Sincerely hope everybody is doing amazingly well today. Welcome, whether this is the first time you've ever stepped into a Unicorn Light Tarot reading or whether you are returning, welcome one and all. Today we are doing a reading, Choose a Magical Timeline. So we will be um, unleashing and revealing timelines to you. Uh, we have three piles as usual, each pile has an each timeline so each each pile is a timeline and each timeline has a corresponding energy that will be infused into your reading so pile one will be one energy you'll find out what that is later pile two will be another energy and pile three will be another energy and this energy will be infused into your timeline into your reading so uh, feel free to take as much time as you need to feel into the energy of each oracle deck here we'll be bringing in some tarot cards a little bit later into each and every reading and as always the more in touch you are with your heart chakra the more in touch you are with your own being the more these readings will resonate so if you need to take a little bit of time pause the video come back to self do a little bit of meditation whatever you need to do feel free to do that we will be here when you click play back on and because the timestamps will be down below you'll be able to go straight to your pile so take your time figure out which pile is calling to you for a myriad of different reasons so let's go ahead and get right into these readings so i'm going to put aside timeline two and timeline three for now so if you chose timeline one then your messages is well your timeline will be infused with love that's what you chose here for pile one is love so your timeline has this corresponding energy of love and this will be infused and be the theme for your reading so let's get going and we're going to pick a couple of cards here so it's almost like if you focus on the energy of love for this timeline, what will it create for you? Or what will you co-create with the universe? What timeline are you co-creating with love at the helm? As they say, or do they say, as we say, I guess. <laughs> Here we go. So let's start your reading. So you've got action, number 17. You have attachment, number five. And you have the world. Okay. So the first message that's coming through for you, and let's get some tarot in there too. Actually, you know what? So there's a few things going on for you, pile one. So there's an action of moving forward that's absolutely in the lines for you, something that you want to do. These twos are coming up. Um, let's see what we have also. You've got miracles and you've got enthusiasm. I celebrate everything in my life and I live in limitless joy and my life is a miracle. So these are the two things that we're pulling all of these cards for you. So these are the two, uh, two energies that you're moving towards. That's what you want. There is an attachment to, for some of you, the right kind of action and taking a specific kind of action and moving forward. For some of you, uh, there's a little bit of nervousness about taking the wrong sort of path or ending up somewhere that you don't want to be. Now, a lot of this is based on uh, past tribulations, how you used to work in the world, how you were before. Um, a lot of it is also based on this attachment that you also have with not needing to be right, but wanting to be right. And let us explain that, just a little bit of real talk. It's not like you want to say, oh, I was right all along. It's just that there's a need to be right so you don't have to go back and correct. 
um, there's an energy in and around you whereby you have this, you still have this absolutely beautiful and, and, and gorgeous essence to you where you really helped people and some people took advantage. So you spent a lot of time and energy sort of in and around other people's energies, um, trying to help them or trying to sort of uh, disengage from their energy or from their actions in the past because you infused their energy with theirs. So you have an attachment to needing to, to make the right decision so you don't end up sort of untangling yourself uh, sort of in the future for some from something that you don't want and again this is very specific to how you used to be in the past now the way in which you were in the past you weren't exactly a martyr you did want everybody to be okay there was an essence of you that would have sacrificed an essence of you in order for somebody else to be okay and that's just the beautiful person that you are now you've come out of that you know that people have their own way of dealing with things and also the most important thing is that you know you you can't help hold anybody back from their own healing process and as you well know the, the healing process can be a little bit messy so even though we love people and we want to dive in there sometimes and make it easier for them we can't really do that so this is something that you know so you have big plans you know what you're doing you absolutely know where you're going deep down. You know that you really can't go wrong. When you click into that energy, you know that you really can't go wrong. But there's an energy of you that just, that really um, has this procrastination button a little bit when it comes to action, even baby steps, because there's still this remnants of this old energy coming in. Now, this old energy coming in is based on reality. This is how you worked before. However, this is just an essence of you wanting everybody to be okay. Now, you've worked through that. Now, even though you are you're never going to get over the fact that you want everybody to be OK. And every now and again, you you know, huffy about the world. Why don't people get their shit together and all of this? And you get a little bit disheartened. We all do. But you still understand at the end of the day that it's it's their reality and you are dealing with yours and you're doing the inner work to to pull you through and push you through the best way that you can. So you do know that you can do this. Now, as we said before, this choosing a magical timeline, this is your timeline that you're on. Now, in order for you to move forward and incorporate this beautiful timeline, we gave you love. So what you're needing here is love. Now, this is self-love and this comes down to self-love is much more than just loving yourself. It's trusting yourself and knowing that what it is that you want is achievable because you know that you deserve it. So let's get you a little bit more information. Before we do this, let's get you um, a couple of cards here from the unicorn realm. So moving forward for you, um, is easier than you think. And we're going to get you through this, um, get you over the little bit of the hump. A lot of you actually know which direction to move in, or at least you think you do. But there's a little bit of self-doubt that's coming in. But again, the, the self-doubt is very specific, and we've gone over that with you. So hopefully, so we have 1967, break your routine, absolutely. And then you have sex magic, love magic, uh, love, sex, and magic. So, you know, the love card is coming up too. And, you know, the, the sex magic card too is an action card with the love, making that possible, moving that energy forward. So the next thing that happens for you is an action. It needs to be an action. You need to take that baby step. You need to do that. And this doubt that you have, hopefully we've given you a little bit of um, support with that, just letting you know where it comes from. Now, where you're coming from and, and the fact that you're procrastinating for if this is resonating with you and you, you are in that point where you know, you want to move forward, but you're a little bit nervous to do it. It's totally understandable why you're feeling that way, but it really isn't about you. It's not that you don't trust yourself per se. It's just that 
in the past you've given away so much of your energy that when you've actually needed your own energy and you've moved forward things have fallen short a little bit or they've fallen flat it's not that you've failed and there's no failure here here anyway quote unquote it just failure gives you an idea of you know what you didn't want and sometimes what we consider a failure the the universe is actually saying we've got something much bigger for you so we don't want you going in that direction anyway we don't want you wasting your time so it wasn't that but falling short or not having the expected result is something that you've had time and time again so for you that's because you've given away so much of your energy that when you've actually needed the energy to put forward yourself there wasn't necessarily enough energy for it to move forward because you were depleted to begin with so a lot of the self-doubt that you may have had before actually has nothing to do with you it's just about a depletion of energy now again you're not doing that anymore so moving forward and bringing in that action and very very specific action now we have the sex the sex magic card too next to enthusiasm and next to action so there's nothing about these three cards that let us know that when you put the action forward there's nothing that you can't do you obviously can do it you obviously have um, the catalyst the movement the beauty forward you even have a plan um, it's about trusting yourself and just taking that first baby step. That's important for you. The rest of it is going to take off. Now, because you've been sort of, for want of a better word, burned in the past because so many things that you put out there didn't do as well as you thought they could have done or fallen flat in some, in some way or just, you know, just haven't accumulated what it is that you thought that you wanted, um, you know, looking back isn't going to make any sense and everything that you did before was an accumulation of, of who you are now so who you are now and the action that you're going to take now is completely different so this is about breaking your routine at every step and just moving forward with that energy now it's understandable that a part of your trust has been eroded because you know when you did move forward you did you did have as much energy as you could put forward so you did put a hundred percent in that's why you're like i put a hundred percent in and it wasn't actually a hundred percent but that's all you had to give and that's that's what you gave so if it fell flat for you you're like well i stepped up and i did everything i could and it still sort of fell flat i really don't understand well you weren't giving 100 percent because your energy's been depleted however you know this attachment to doing things this way and giving away your energy in the way that you did before you're not doing any more so again it's about reevaluating and really focusing on the action with the enthusiasm with the miracles with the world you have these beautiful cards here that um, suggest not only if you move forward but you have the intended action you also have this extra energy that's coming back to you you're not giving away that energy anymore so that extra energy that's in and around you is waiting to be utilized now you probably don't utilize this energy as much as you could because you're not used to having it while you've gone through all the motions of healing yourself from wanting to give away your energy and wanting everybody to be okay you've absolutely done that and you've healed from that you're not going to do that anymore and even when you do you find yourself pulling yourself back and saying all right I'm not doing that anymore but what really hasn't happened quite yet and hopefully we can help you with this today is that you haven't integrated all of that old energy that you've given away and pulled it back to you so you're still working on you know if you have four cylinders you're still working on like two cylinders or one and a half cylinders so what we're going to do is we're going to pull that energy back to you so you can do a little ritual you can do whatever you want to do pull that energy back from all the situations that you gave energy to all the people that you gave energy to and sometimes when you just showed up because you were so honest and open about who you were even if you hid uh, the bare minimum of it because even in these situations you did feel as your core your soul did feel as though some of these people you know uh, they were doing their best but you may have hidden aspects of yourself out of protection but you still give away your energy or you were still open to that people may have taken that energy as well as you giving it and 
So taking or bringing that energy back and saying, all right, so I'm going to actively bring that energy back. I'm going to utilize that energy and I'm going to put it forward into what it is that I want to procreate, what I want to fertilize and move forward, because this is a really fertile time for you. Now, it could be physically if you're thinking about having a child, but that's only going to be for some of you. So don't worry about that. But this is an absolutely brilliant time for you to move forward and for you to sit there going, I don't really Really know which way or I think I know which way but then procrastinate on actually doing it because there's a part of you that's wondering if this really is you know a valid way to move forward baby steps do it anyway um, whatever you're being called to do and whatever direction you're being pulled in is absolutely vital for you to move toward as long as it's healthy and it feels good within you and this is something that you know. It will open up uh, the avenues and your timeline a little bit more. You're on the verge and the precipice of, of a new timeline. And while it's absolutely there for, and you have these moments of absolute excitement knowing that it's there, you actually have to use that action in order to physically move into that timeline. So um, some of you have been nervous about doing that because you've been thinking, well, you know, there's still some stuff for me to, to figure out and this, that and the other. Everything can be figured out while you're physically on that timeline. You've done enough healing now. There's nothing more for you to do on this timeline. And actually, if you stay on the timeline that you're on, it'll become very apparent very quickly that a new timeline is coming in for you. So you really can't go wrong no matter what. These timelines will appear for you. It's just a matter of whether you want to do this sooner rather than later. So pulling back your energy. Um, from all of these situations that have come before you. That's all you need to do. For enthusiasm and sex magic, what do we have here? Now we have the world reversed here. So let's see what we have underneath here. We have the King of Swords here. So some of you have been doubting your truth and some of you have been doubting um, a little bit of um, who you are and how you stand in the world. Now let's be specific about that. Now, again, this is tied to how you used to work with your energy. Now, when people are taking energy from you, they misconceivably thought of you as being weak or weaker. So there was an energy in and around that. There was sort of these roles that you assumed where you were the weaker one or the lower one and they were the higher one. Now, um, some of that was ego on their part and some of that really had nothing to do with lower and higher and weaker and, and stronger. It's just that they were actually actively taking your energy. So of course they felt a lot more empowered. And because you were having that energy sort of um, taken from you, you were feeling a little less empowered. So what happened in the past with these people um, in and around you is that you could have gotten yourself into situations where people constantly sort of treated you as if they were a little bit better than you, or they knew a little bit more than you. Maybe they were a little bit more intelligent than you. Maybe they were a little bit more accomplished than you. Maybe they had something. There was something that, that there was a leverage that they had. Um, and that is still, it's not ingrained by any stretch of the imagination, but there's still some remnants of that where now that you're actively moving forward, you have everything that you need. Um, we often look back, at least our ego looks back and gives us evidence of what's happened before. Now, the truth of the matter is there was never any circumstance in your life at all where um, somebody was better than you or more accomplished than you, this, that, and the other, regardless of uh, how they may have looked down at you or how they may have treated you. However, you both assumed those roles. One role was very active, so you assumed the other role um, without realizing it. And for some of you, you did realize it and you realized it in a way that you needed to pull yourself out of it, uh, maybe even end the friendship or uh, let the friendship fall away and you needed to heal from that. So this is something, if this is resonating with you, you should already know this or already feel it. But there's still some remnants there of just not quite being good enough one way or another. But we want to be really clear. These are just the systems that you chose for yourself 
in order for you to learn how to work with your energy and to, how to master your energy. Now, the reason why you're in this situation is because you were incredibly powerful, of course, and giving away your energy in such a way, you were still able to um, survive in such a way. A lot of people wouldn't have been able to do that. Survive in such a way and give away your energy um, and, and still be rather successful. You may not have seen yourself as a success, but considering how much energy you were giving away, trust us, you were very successful. Now, if the tables were reversed, they wouldn't have been able to give away that kind of energy and kept up the levels and been at the, the stage that they were, that you were. So the truth of the matter is, it's that you are very, very powerful, but there's a remnant of you that's still going back to the old ways, not in a good way when we say the old ways, the old ways of how you used to do things. And you're, you're trying to look for evidence of how this could work in the future. And it's just not true. It's just not true. Now you took on these roles. You absolutely took on these roles. In fact, these roles were chosen for you and you sort of slipped into these roles because when somebody's taking your energy and you've slipped into these roles, before you know it, you're kind of in these roles, right? But you didn't choose these roles for yourself. You didn't really believe that you were lower than somebody else or that you didn't have as much as they did. You know, on, on paper, that didn't even make any sense. And, and as we said at the beginning, to reiterate, there's always a part of yourself that you protected. There's always a part of yourself um, that you kept away from the people who were, in fact, holding your energy captive. So they never really knew what you were capable of. They never really knew who you really were. So, you know, to say that they were underestimating you is an ostrich. <laughs> it's completely ridiculous because they, they didn't have any narrative. They didn't have any real truth of who you were anyway. So they were just going off of whatever they believed, pure projection, taking your energy at the same time, and then you were left in this role. Now, you've taken yourself out of that, and you're very, very powerful. You do understand that you're powerful, but you're looking to move forward. So there's a part of you that's saying, you know, maybe I'm not good enough, or maybe I can never quite make it out of this box. I can only get to this level of success, or I can only do this. I can't really, you know, be that expansive and, and have everything completely take off to a point where I never could have believed it would be there. So for you, it's not that you lack imagination by any stretch of the imagination, nor do you lack power or enthusiasm nor, and this is very important uh, to, to mention, nor do you lack the, uh, the beautiful guideship or um, all of the support that you're getting because all your guides in and around you ready to make this move with the timeline. But coming back to yourself is really, really important. Um, bringing your energy back from those past situations, really recognizing that dynamic as something that you fell into. Yes, we can take full responsibility for that and say, all right, I put myself into that dynamic. That's nothing wrong with that. You can claim responsibility for it, but you didn't put yourself into that. Yes, there was an essence of you that allowed that, certainly, but there's nothing for you to harp on about. So taking your energy back specifically from these energies or from these situations that have already come and gone and say, you know what, I am as good, if not better. It's okay to do that. Your ego is not going to get carried away. You could do with a little bit of an ego boost, actually, at this point. I'm just as good. I know I am. Now, remember, we're infusing this energy. We're infusing this timeline with love, coming back to the love of who you are, coming back to the love of what you do in this lifetime, and coming back to the fact that you were willing to give everything to somebody else so they could be okay, giving their energy and that beauty that you have, that purity that you have of soul. And this is something that will be rewarded. This is something that you have. This is something that you didn't give away. So we want you to go back to that sort of silver lining. We want you to go back to that energy of um, that beautiful inner child that wanted to give, wanted to be there, wanted to make sure that everybody was going to be okay, wanted to take other people's pain. We want you to do that for yourself. So in any way that you do that, um, any kind of meditation, however you want to do that, or just exclaim that's what you're doing, all of that energy you pull back from all of those different situations, bring back to yourself, but bring it back to you in a specific way, integrate it in a way where you know that whatever is for you in this timeline is going to be absolutely beautiful. We want you to break free of any doubt or any procrastination that you may have moving forward because you have all of that magic. Now, you're never going to fall in to any of those situations again. And 
you know, those people, ironically enough, that treated you a certain way because your energy has shifted. If they are in your life, they're treating you differently. If they're not in your life and they met you now, they would treat you very differently because you handle yourself differently. You hold yourself differently. Your energy is different. You're not there to, to save anyone anymore. You're not there to lower yourself. And that's another thing that you do. You lower your energy so somebody else can shine. So this is your moment of, of shining. But of course, you've never really truly shone in a while because you've given that essence to somebody else. So of course, you're a little bit nervous about shining. How is that going to look? Will I be able to do? Of course you are. It's perfectly natural. You haven't done it in a while. You've been supporting everybody else shining, but this is your time to shine. So any attachment that you have to the old, any way that you're looking back, and some of you might even not really been entrenched in this in any way, but you're using it as a, as a little bit of a real talk here, Paul, and a little bit of an excuse of the procrastination. I'll do it next week, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it whenever, because you're still a little bit attached to that old stuff that's coming up, but you're actually not really attached to it. It's You're really not attached to it. All the work from the healing of understanding those dynamics and healing from them and, and understanding what you did, pulling your energy back, making sure you don't do that again, that's all been done. And for that to be healed, you needed to go deep, those core wounds, because there were abandonment uh, wounds there initially. And because uh, some of these people were, were strong in a way that you felt like you needed that energy around you and you were abandoned by people, um, a little bit of a trigger warning and not this doesn't apply to everyone that's listening to this but there may have been some abandonment issues for some of you and when somebody is strong it reminds you of the person that you were abandoned by so of course you're going to give them everything in order to get something back but that person or that that um, security was never really there and that instance whatever you were going through was just to alert you of what really needed to be healed so if you've come out of that on the other side of it, and most of you have, if not all of you, then you've healed those core wounds. So these aren't wounds that you need to heal. This just is a matter of you being really, really firm and pulling your energy back and saying, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not going back to the past. Any essence, any energy, any doubt that I've, you know, that I, that's been in infiltrating, I'm going to pull back and I'm going to turn it into a catalyst for love. I'm going to love the person that I am. I'm going to respect the person that I am because you're the sort of person um, that looks for love loves love, has a lot of energy for love, is capable of um, really expansive love, is capable of wanting to to put themselves even in harm sometimes to make sure somebody would be okay. I mean, that essence of you is gorgeous. It's not, it's not required of you and you know that, but there's an essence of you that's truly wonderful. So bring that love back to yourself, integrate that love back to yourself in any way, shape or form. Let it throw, uh, flow through all of your cells moving forward. And as you do that, you'll step onto this new timeline, which is right there for you. Some of you are on the precipice of it, on this new timeline, which is very expansive and waiting for you and will not look like anything you've ever been through. So we have the star underneath and then we have the five of wands. So we're going to turn the star upright here. And that's the wishful card. That's the wish card here. Um, it's it has a lot of positive, beautiful energy to it. But for you, it's about not fighting elements of your mind, letting every single aspect of what you've been through just flow through you and let it show you what the lesson is. That's it. There's no reason to go through anything and, and start, you know, bringing up old stuff and, you know, he said, she said, or anything like this. Yes, the Nine of Cups. That is your wish card. That is beautiful. That's what we were looking for. So... Your wish card is here. Your timeline is there. It's ready to go. Now, the star was in, uh, uh, immediately reversed, but we put it back up because these two together, this is all about sort of letting everything come in through your mind, letting it infiltrate and then letting it go. You're still trying to reason with a lot of stuff that's coming in and there's nothing... Um, implicitly wrong with that. However, you're, again, it's, you're, 
it can be used for fodder for not moving forward and that's not what we want for you so anything that's happened before you know if you want to get angry about it let it move through you so you can you know get out those last um, remaining angry this that and the other and at the end of the day the only person that you're really angry at is actually yourself so if there's any forgiveness that you need to do on your part do that obviously there's nothing to forgive you did the best that you could at that time those lessons were actually quite painful for you so there's a reason why they're reverberating into your life right now however they were very very important important for you. They brought you back to the core of what needed to be healed and you did heal that successfully. So you did need them. Now going back over them and saying he said, she said, or, or actually putting yourself back into some of these old ways that they played out is not going to do anything for you. But if there's still some anger and some forgiveness, whatever needs to be done, just let that all flow through every aspect of you. Just let it fall through. Let it show you anything else that you need to learn so you can integrate that wisdom and move on. You have the wish card. You have everything that you need to, to move forward. You have this incredible vitality and enthusiasm. Most of you have a plan. You have a path in order to move forward. And these miracles are really waiting to move forward with you and integrate into this new timeline as long as you break that routine and go for what it is that you think you, you need and want. And again, baby steps, just do it. The first step, but do it with surety. Do it with this knowing that expansiveness exists and you are owed that expansiveness, that you're ready for that expansiveness as you are. This is the incredible wish card here. Um, any wish that you have, that you've been laying the seeds for, planting the seeds for, you will be able to accomplish in this lifetime. And stepping onto this new timeline, infusing yourself with that love that you absolutely deserve, give that love to yourself first, um, and really celebrate everything that you've been through. Um, this will bring all of what you want into fruition. You've been working on this, maybe in the dark, maybe behind closed doors, but you've been working on this. And you will be seen for exactly who you are. You will not be, and you know, people project, people see what they want to see, and that's their right, that's fine, but the right people will find you. Um, the people that you're here to actually be in and around and to work with in this lifetime, you're not here to save everybody, you're not here to save anyone. You're here to save yourself, but you are here to work with people you are here to build a community those people will see you absolutely you will build that and the rest of them that's fine you know let them be let them be they have their their own path their own way of seeing things if it doesn't collide with yours um, in a safe and beautiful and positive way that's fine let them go you're not here to impress you're just here to be you in all of your authenticity. So now that's been tough because some of that authenticity has been worn away because of all the things that you've been through and how you've been treated. So of course you're feeling a little bit nervous moving forward, but we want to remind you the enthusiasm. And also let's not forget that sex magic card. That is a very, very powerful card for casting that spells, using that um, action, uh, love, sex, and magic moving forward. It just, you know, the catalyst of this moving forward, it has this um, momentum moving forward. You have this beautiful kinetic energy. Nothing can really stop you except for yourself, but you have the nine of cups, you have the star, you have the miracle card here, and you have the world card here. And even though the world card is uh, reversed on this side, this is your past, it's mirroring what you can do now. So infuse with love, move forward with certainty. Again, being open to how this will look when you move into it, when you move into the energy. But once you're actually firmly on that timeline, it will take off very, very quickly and make sense. So that's what we have for you, part one. Hopefully that resonated with you. We are sending so much support and love to you for whoever you are and wherever you are in the world. Please stay safe and sane. And as we say, not too safe because we, we want you breaking that routine and getting out there. The time is right. The miracles are there for you. And that Nine of Cups is ready for you to pull in that energy. Take that first step. You've got this. No more excuses. Okay. Take care until we meet again. Bye-bye. Hey, all my lovely pile twos. So this is Choose a Magical Timeline. So this is your timeline. And the energy that this timeline is, correspond this corresponding energy for you is healing. 
So this energy of healing will be infused into your timeline here. So let's see what we have for you. We're going to start off with a couple of cards here. So the theme within your timeline is healing. That's the energy in and around your timeline. So if you focus on healing, it'll bring in the timeline quicker. Although it feels like some of you are already on that timeline. We'll find out some more details in just a mo. All right, let's see what we have for you. Okay, so manifestation and spell is your first one. That's wonderful. Earth and grounding and spirit and initiation. I love that. Okay, so healing for you in this new timeline. Some of you are already starting this new timeline. There's still some action um, that needs to come in and around to secure this timeline, but that's okay because timelines are shifting for you anyway. Um, so for some of you who are feeling a little ungrounded at the moment, or you're um, you're feeling a little you know, feeling a little ungrounded, but frighteningly fine with everything, so you're accepting in this moment. So it's not really ungrounded. It's just that you're open to everything that can happen, but nothing's quite solidified yet. So um, the spell and the manifestation working with the initiation, there's something that you can do um, to bring on what it is that you need in this timeline a little bit sooner. So it's all in your hands. It's always in your hands, but it's particularly in your hands right now. Let's find out what that is. So there's energy for you to use in a very, very specific way. Now, healing is part of this timeline. So let's see how that fits in. But yeah, there's with the initiation and spell, there's energy in your part. Now you have everything you need to move this timeline to where you desire. So, but it's, it's going to take an effort on your part. So let's find out what that effort entails. Let's see, you've got union, soulmates and friendship. And this came out too for Pile 1, 1967 here, Break Your Routine. Okay, so for you, Pile 2, it's healing past relationships. There is an essence of this in Pile 1, but it was completely different energy. Soulmates and friendships. Okay, so there's an essence of healing that's holding you back a little bit. And it's going to be up to you to do that with the um, initiation moving you forward. Now you have this beautiful energy, you have this manifestation, you have this power, you're not being held back, you're pulling yourself back a little bit. Some of you may not feel as though you have the right support to move forward. Um, these are general readings that affect you differently. Um, some of you may be doubting yourself a little bit. Some of you may be doubting what you think you want. Um, because now that you're on the precipice of receiving it, you're wondering if you really want it. Um, some of you are a little bit afraid of asking for what you want and then finding out that you don't want it later on and being sort of feeling as though you're, you're going to be stuck. There's a really expansive energy that's in and around you, Pile 2, which is absolutely wonderful. But you're finding it a little bit difficult to sort of ground it or earth it in some way because it wants this and it wants that and it wants to be floaty. But at the same time, you're remarkably grounded to the earth. So it's this, this new way of working. Your energy has shifted. So it's a matter of how you work and shift this new energy. Now, you're here for healing. You're, he you're here to help heal in some way. And the way in which you help heal is that you reveal the truth of a situation. Once the truth is revealed, um, it's like fresh air can get to the wound and it can start sort of healing. And that's really what you do. I mean, it's really why we go to therapy, right? We go to, uh, for those of, you know, for people who do, the right therapist. It's, you know, you tell them what's going on and they have hopefully the training and the insight to be able to sort of shed some kind of new light on it that really fits 
with where you're at. You're able to integrate it and it just sort of allows the sort of um, movement of, of healing in the right direction. That's what you do in your own way. Now, some of you could be therapists, but it's not really, it's, it's not even needed. And the way in which we're moving to like old cycles are falling away and old paradigms are falling away. So while I have a lot of respect for psychologists and, and psychology and science, and that's wonderful, that's only half of the point too. What we're doing in this lifetime really is melding sort of the old ways with the science and everything and moving it together. And this is something that you do. This has come up in readings before, but um, you don't need to worry about the fusing and the melding. You just, um, you're able to really, for want of a better term, hook people up with the truth of a situation so they can see it clearly. Um, sometimes people get really arrested or they, they get really ingrained in the narratives that they tell themselves and they become very obsessed with the story. And sometimes people do that out of protection because of what they've been through. So there's a reason why they need to do that. So you have that real beautiful alchemy, that real energy of knowing when to go full throttle and and sort of give people the truth and when to back off and know what they're able to, to come out with, what they're able to hear at that time. So now, in the past, you may not have been able to do that. You may, it may have sort of blurted out or there's an essence of their personality. If they were acting like a bollocks or something was happening, you called them on it, but it wasn't the right time. So your timing may have been a little bit off, but your perceptions were never off. So your energy is moving in this, in this new direction. It's a little freer. It's a lot more expansive and, um, and it's ready to move forward, but there's not necessarily, um, there's either healing that needs to be done with, with past relationships in some way, or there's just a final letting go of all of them and starting off with a brand new beginning. And also for some of you, you may not have the sort of the physical support. When we say physical support, we don't mean in any way, shape or form, we do not mean uh, that you don't have uh, guides and angels and, and everybody working with you. Everybody's in and around you. We're talking about like physical aspects, like people behind you, like uh, uh, money or whatever it is that you need to start this off, this venture. So for those of you who are saying, you know, I do have a union mate, you know, I have my husband or I have my wife behind me and you know, that's enough, but I don't have um, a lot of friendships anymore. I don't have this. Um, I certainly don't have a lot of money, especially if you're starting from less than zero. I'm actually in a little bit of debt moving forward. Um, I don't know if I should be doing this. Maybe I should be doing this instead. There might be something where you're feeling as though there's not quite enough physical support in the earthly realm to be able to do it. So your main question is F it. It doesn't matter. You're going to be great anyway. Go for it. It's really not about whatever earthiness and grounding you have that's tethering you to this ground is enough to move you forward. Um, and everything that you've gone through and everything that you are is enough to bring in the results that you want. As long as you break the routine of not of always trying to have all your ducks in a row before you move forward, this timeline is ready for you. And you absolutely have the energy to manifest what it is that you want. And you're pretty clear about what that is for the most part, not necessarily what it will look like, but you have the direction in which to move in. So let's get you some, let's get you a couple more cards here and see what we have. It's actually a very exciting time for you. Now there's various different ways of he that healing might come up for you in this timeline. And it's not going to be in a very conventional way either. Let's see what we have. Embracing. I embrace and love all of my life. Yes, absolutely. Without a doubt. And communication. I communicate from my heart. Love surrounds and protects me. That's it. The way in which you communicate is enough to move you forward. Again, as we said, you know, you, you're able to heal people, know what they need to hear at that time. You don't placate. You know, people, you know, you could have gotten into trouble with that before when people came to you, you know, I, I, I want to ask you a certain thing and then, you know, you tell them the truth. They didn't want to hear it. You could have gotten into trouble with that before. Or um, if people were looking for sympathy and you were like, well, actually, you were kind of a bollocks and this, that and the other. And you were absolutely right. But at the same time, you know, 
maybe wasn't the time but this is something that you've worked on you've integrated how to work with people and 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 how to communicate effectively it's not that you weren't a good communicator it's just that you know you were very blunt you've pulled that back and you know how to work and again you're very sensitive now um i mean you were sensitive in different ways back then but you're very sensitive now to where people are in their journey and how much they can handle how much they can handle the truth right and the truth the universal truth exactly what they need to hear so you can work incrementally with people now and that really provides an incredible and beautiful healing experience if you meet people exactly where they are, not trying to, to pull them into that healing space too quickly. So this is something that you've done for yourself. So for some of you, you feel as though, you know, your healing journey has taken a little bit longer. That's fine. If you feel as though you're a little behind everybody else, this could be this impetus of how you're feeling, you know, I'm... I'm I'm feeling a little bit unprepared as I move forward. I really want this expansive stuff, but I, you know, I, I don't have this in place. I don't have that in place. I already feel a little bit behind. Everybody's done this, that, and the other. Totally understandable that you would feel that way. However, and it's wonderful that the people that you're comparing yourself to, if you're doing that, which you don't bother, Paul, to, but if you are, you know, they've achieved what they've achieved, and that's wonderful on their own merit. Good for them, two thumbs up. But the way in which you're doing everything is really going to come into play. It hasn't come into play yet. So the way in which you're going to touch and heal people and and um, and really work your magic in the world has really not come into fruition yet. So there should be no comparison. Comparing yourself at this point is absolutely ridiculous. It's like comparing yourself to somebody who's already won a race and you haven't, you're just warming up. You're not even starting yet. It doesn't mean that you can't get to the end of the race quicker. In fact, once you get onto this timeline, a lot of you are already on the timeline but once you really activate this new timeline you can move at warp speed you've been doing this work yes it's taken a little longer but yes you've done it thoroughly so what we're seeing sometimes is that people seem further along but then you know the the messages and whatever they're doing still needs a little bit of healing in and around it you've done that already so all of your messages that get out there will be clear manifest clearly move forward um, it won't be incorporating fear and, you know, you're, you're working past the understanding or the idea of agenda, which is absolutely wonderful, right? So your communication is clear. You know how to work with people now. You know how to say what you need to say and embracing everything that you've been through in order to get to this point. And yes, working with this new energy can be a little bit different. Um, you do feel earthed. You do feel... Um, integrated into the into the earth you do feel grounded in a way that you never did before but you're also really expansive so you could be a little bit spacey there's also some upgrades and some um, some beautiful energy coming in for you too and don't use that as an excuse not to move forward <laughs> because that's that's not for you not to move forward but that that is a reason for those of you who are feeling a little bit spacey but still expansive and somehow still remarkably grounded considering um, that's the reason why. Now you have the manifestation, you have the power. Now, some of you actually do have clicked into your power and know how powerful you are. So know that when this takes off, nothing will be the same again. And for some of you, this is actually a little bit of a scary notion, which is totally wonderful and is totally fine. Everything that you're going to do, like as you move forward, your life is going to look completely different and there's not going to be any markers to anything that you've done before. It will be completely different. So even though there's an aspect of your personality that's spontaneous and brilliant and up for anything that happens and can absolutely and have done usually under pressure when they've had to but done a 180 and completely changed their life when they've needed to again out of support out of something that's happened a catalyst you've needed to do it but you've landed on your feet so you know you can do it this is still a little overwhelming because this is something that you're choosing so we do understand moving forward things can be um, a little bit disconcerting because it doesn't feel as though even though you're grounded, your energy is working differently, nothing's going to be the same again. But we assure you that that's a good thing. It's absolutely a good thing. Let's get you some more information here. You're ready. 
your energy is ready and your manifestation is ready and you've been working on that manifestation. Now, some of it's coming true in really, really small ways, just to show you and assert you to the fact that your energy is free flowing. Now, you were always very powerful, but you ended up, you stopped your energy at certain times, um, sometimes just before it was taking off. You would stop your energy because there was a part of you that didn't feel as though you were ready yet. And you were absolutely right at that time. Um, there was a certain level of success that if you had gotten it a little earlier, it actually um, could have, it, <clears throat> It wouldn't have been to your detriment by any stretch of the imagination, but you wouldn't have enjoyed it as much as you will now. You always would be sort of, uh, sort of chasing it or feeling like you need to come up with it or keep up with it. And this is a way that you can work with your energy and success in a completely different way and really enjoy it. And everybody should enjoy their success. So let's do, we've got the eight of wands. Something's coming in for you for sure. And we've got the princess of discs there we have the devil but don't you worry because the devil has had its day and the nine of discs yeah there's a little bit of doubt coming in but we've got the king of wands i'm gonna do one more here we've got the seven of swords okay so there's a few different things coming in so first of all there's something coming in from the external that's going to help um that's going to help move you forward and there's definitely um an energy of not doubting your power, quite the opposite, knowing how powerful you are, but wondering how you're manifesting that energy. So we want to remind you that this timeline is infused with healing. So there might be something that we can help you with, with the healing um, of believing and absolutely believing at your core that you are an incredible person and you deserve all the success that you need. So there might be some some timelines going on from past lives where um you were yeah it's you know there, there is some past life stuff but it doesn't feel as though it really needs to be brought up at this point it's really about what what uh, decisions and things that you've done in this lifetime um, some of you may be highlighting those a little bit more now we want to remind you we want to give you a different point of view because the devil is actually it's it's inconsequential in this reading in some ways because you've moved through the energy of it. Some of you did have addictions. Some of you also um, had incredible sensitivities and were not equipped to be able to deal with them. Equipped being that you did not have the union. You did not have the support growing up. You did not know um, how to deal with any of this. So of course it, it would have felt in a way that you, some of you felt as though you were going mad. Some of you maybe tried to repress all of these sort of gifts and, uh, you know, these spiritual gifts, but also this, this really, really deep, comprehensive knowing, knowing this about somebody, feeling it. Some of you may have had dreams that came true. Some of you just had this deep sense of knowing when somebody was talking to you, you just knew things about them, or you definitely knew if they were bullshitting you. Um, and you may not have ever mentioned that to somebody else, but they could feel it too. So you were working on sort of different levels with people, what people were saying to you and how they were treating you versus what was actually going on. So people were reading, you were reading people's energy from a very, very young age. So um, with everything that you've done in order to cope with that, um, addictions may have come in, some other things that you, you may have done or been in and around that you saw that were slightly unsavory, it was just a part of you needing to survive. Also, we want to put to you that all of those experiences that you had that were less than unsavory, you were protected, but uh, you were protected while you were going through them. But also seeing the underbelly of life, also seeing uh, what addiction does, also seeing um, all those beautiful people who were caught in addiction and, and really understanding that from the inside out is a way that you can actually help the world, is the way that you can actually help people because you have a real understanding of how it works. Now, you won't be doing it in a system. Like a lot of you aren't gonna become um, drug counselors or this, that, and the other. You don't wanna work within a system anymore. You're well aware that a system causes all of these things uh, all addictions, this, that, and the other, they certainly do not help. I mean, yes, we make our own choices, but being caught in the system and not being supported in the system is why people use in the first place and, and do some of these unsavory things just in order to survive. So you would never be in a situation where you would want to be within that system in order to help somebody. You're going to help people outside of the system. 
So that's your expansiveness, that's your manifestation, that's your beauty. But everything that you've been through, every experience that you've had, um, brings you closer to the truth of what people really are. So we want to remind you that it was really imperative that you went through all of that and you put yourself through that. They were not easy times. But as you look back on your life and you hold these essences of who you are, um, we want you to know that, that there's real time, proper time for actual healing here, healing your past in a brand new way and just forgiving yourself for everything that you've done, everything you may have done to your mind and body and to your circumstances, to people in and around you. Now you've done a lot of healing again, as we say on this channel, it's not about going down the rabbit hole and, you know, and uh, spending, you know, two years doing this work and, you know, calling everybody up and saying sorry. And, you know, I mean, if you need to do that, it's not necessary. None of this is necessary. These are just old cords that just need to be sort of broken once and for all, cut once and for all. And this really is about the relationship you have within yourself, um, how you've been and um, um, what you've seen and also how you're dealing with it and how you're holding it within your body, how you're holding it within your psyche, holding it as part of experience and wisdom versus the actual just experience of what you've been through. So taking it one step further and integrating it. Again, this is what's giving you the power to be able to move forward and be a success in this lifetime, to be able to really hone in on and take that beautiful energy that you already had to be able to read somebody, but now you can read somebody and heal them. Don't really like the energy or the word healing. People aren't healers. They're not, um, you know, whoever you're healing, quote unquote, that person is healing themselves, but you can bring them to that healing. So I'm not big on people uh, professing that they're healers, but for you, there's not a chance, especially in this reading, if you're here and it's resonating with you, that you think of yourself in that way. So for you, we're going to call you a healer because your, your ego needs that boost. So this is what you can do for people. You can take people onto the next level. And the next level is absolutely huge. But first, we need you to do this for yourself and then go out and claim this beautiful timeline that you have for yourself that's right there. Now, a lot of you are actually on this timeline already. You've actually stepped onto it. And then you you this came up. Now, this is not resistance. This is just something that's coming up to get you ready for something that's coming in. So everything that you have moving forward, all this beautiful kinetic energy, there's something from the exterior that's going to come in, a contract, um, somebody's going to, you know, um, something that's going to come out, so, some kind of news, something's going to come um, to you that's going to physically move you to the next level. And you, whatever you have... Um, around you right now, whoever you have around you that's doing good for you, that's helping you ground is enough to move forward. You have done incredible feats. You have, you have really honed in on and, and gained these incredible feats in this life, lifetime without having a lot of support. So you're used to doing this by yourself to the point where you've even sort of shut down the universe at times because you're not, it's not, like you don't believe in the universe or even that you don't trust the universe. It's just that hyper independent, you're used to doing things yourself. I'll take care of it. I'll do this. Um, you've worked with that, let go of that controlling element, move into alignment. And this expansive energy that you have is because you're, you're now moving in and working with, you know, the energy that you have, the manifestation that you have, the universe is at your hand. You know you're, what you're doing and you're really experiencing your power in a brand new way. This is wonderful. But we want to remind you that if anything's holding you back, we want to remind you that you've accomplished everything with very, very little. So we assure you, whatever you, uh, whatever you are feeling or whatever you feel like you're holding on to here, you have the passion, you have the power, you have everything that you need to make this a complete success. You have the uh, the re the relevant articulation, communications. You have everything, all your ducks in a row, um, embracing love. Um, I embrace and love all of my life. Again, going back and seeing everything that you've been through as a beautiful experience. Painful too, if the stuff is coming up for you, old stuff is coming up right now for people to really integrate and move through before this new timeline really hits and you're on it. So again, there's nothing more for you to do insofar as just look back and embrace and love every aspect of what you've been through. And also to really, really chime in on that and have fun with this expansive, beautiful sort of um, very, very 
powerful action, passion orientated energy and move forward in that way. You've, you've really circled around your demons. You understand how they work too. And because of that, because you, you understand how they work, you also know when people are trying to manipulate you. You understand that the art of manipulation, how it works. Now, even though your mind, your your beautiful mind might be telling you that the words that they're saying may make sense, you know, there, there's something in your tummy or heartburn or something happens if there's something if there's an agenda or if there's some kind of fear based something that's coming up or if it's not sitting right for you any kind of manipulation and whatever and again however people need to treat each other that's up to them but you can feel it you can feel it even if there's a thousand people in the room going oh my god this person is amazing and you're like there's something up there's something off it's not working for me i'm feeling sick i need to leave you absolutely know and this is part of your training that you've been through this is everything that you've been through you cannot be duped anymore by people's energy you can feel it you can energize it and even people who are like sort of addicted to uh, some people have entities attached to them we don't need to go into that too far but the devil card did come up and uh, these entities can be removed, um, but they often come up with there's a lot of fear and there's a there's a, a, a lot of people that are out in the world and they're speaking from sort of the entities rather than themselves. And that's what's that's happening. That's been happening since the beginning of time. But you can you can see those entities. You can feel them um, within somebody. Um, you actually has a, have an idea. So while they seem brilliant to other people and articulate and gorgeous and they love what they're saying and you know, and they're, yeah, let's do this and let's fight this and whatever, you're like, no, there's something up. And you'll be able to like really extricate yourself from it, bring yourself back from it. And this is absolutely something that you have. This is a beautiful trait that you have that you'll be able to help others too because, uh, you know, People have beautiful souls, but they can they can be led astray. And again, that's all part of their learning. It's not it's not necessarily there for you to save people, but you can also offer another way to be, um, a way that's in healing, that's in love, that brings people back to themselves instead of sort of going after uh, or fighting or this that and the other, encouraging people to go within and work within and coming back to healing, and coming back to love. And this is something that you can do and you would never be able to do that unless you went through all of these experiences and being around all of these experiences and physically go through them too. Because um, people will be able to trust you. When um, you say you can help them, people will be able to trust you because they understand that you've been through it one way or another. But at the same time, you have that distance. You allow people, which is a wonderful thing to do, to have their own version of what they've been through. You're not going to you're not going to project your version onto theirs. You know what what you have been through just brings you halfway in order to be able to empathize completely with the other person's story. So. So yeah, you, you're not gonna push your version of healing onto other people. So this is an incredible feat for you. It really, really is. Now we're gonna, as we did with power one, we're gonna turn these back too because you've got the nine of discs here. You, you have the pentacles coming in um, here and you have all of the energy and all of the self-worth and all of this beauty fused into all of the success moving forward. So again, embracing everything that you've been through and really moving that into wisdom so you're no longer going back over it. If there's any forgiveness that you need to do, it feels as though for most of you, it's forgiveness, forgiving yourself. Again, all of those experiences have brought you to where you are. This timeline that you're firmly on, your energy is expansive and grounded. You're ready to move forward. You also know that there is initiation. So there's something that on your side, um, on the spirit level that you need to do in order to bring in this excellent opportunity coming in. And it's, there's not much, nothing to, you'll know what it is. It's just an accepting of help maybe. Uh, for some of you, it's accepting the universe. For some of you, it's releasing the old completely and saying, I'm ready for the new. For some of you, it's accepting that um, whatever foundation you've made for yourself is so much stronger than you think it is and you're ready to move forward in an expansive way. And yes, your life is gonna look very different and you're not gonna be able to, um, compare it to what's gone on before. But we want to remind you that your communication is articulate and gorgeous and you are ready to embrace every aspect of your life and not hold it within you anymore. So it's those swords within you, so it's it keeps wounding you. Um, clear that up, 
completely. You're ready to let go and you're ready to forgive yourself and move forward. Again, most of you are already on this timeline. It's just a, an essence of initiation to be able to um, allow in this timeline to do what it's meant to do. And once that happens, you've clicked onto it and then everything will start moving forward for you. So that's what we have for you, Pile 2. We certainly hope this resonated with you. We are sending you so much support and love no matter where you are and who you are in the world. Please stay safe and sane. And as we say, not too safe because we want you outside of that box. Stay mentally and physically safe, of course. But uh, get yourself outside of that box and claim this new timeline that you're on and go be you because it's beautiful, bright future ready to um, be implemented by you. Take care until we meet again. Bye-bye. Hey, gorgeous pile threes. If you chose this timeline, this pile, pile three, then um, each timeline has a, a corresponding energy that will be infused into this reading and your uh, corresponding energy is alchemy. So um, infusing alchemy into this reading, into this timeline, bring this timeline right into your forecast, brings this timeline right into where you are. Some of you are already stepping onto that timeline. So the energy of alchemy will of course be within this reading as a theme that occurs within just to ground the energy of the reading. So let's go ahead and pick three of these to start off with and we'll get you your messages to root in this timeline. But again, some of you are already on this timeline, moving you forward on this timeline, and then we'll get some tarot as we move forward. Okay, so you have Ceremony is your first card. You have Karmic Debt is your second card. And you have Offerings. Okay, so there's a little bit of a layover. I'm obsessed with planes. <laughs> Going somewhere. There's a little bit of... Um, uh, similar kind of thread with pile one, two, and three, which is perfectly normal. Um, although very, very different energy. So this is about for you, um, the energy of alchemy of moving the past out and moving it into the future. Now we find with you that every time, now you've done a lot of healing, you've done a lot of these core wounds and work through them. As we say on this channel many times, you don't need to go down the rabbit hole, you've done all this work and it's very easy to sort of chisel away at, you know, and find something else that needs to be healed. Yes, we'll always be healing one way or another um, or always be um, not necessarily healing, but growing, hopefully. Uh, but you are ready to move forward. You're actually on this timeline. It's about clearing out and clearing the way to see the next step forward. So for you, um, the karmic debt, sometimes what you do is when you get to this point where you feel as though things can take off, you personally stop yourself and say, no, I need to heal a little bit more. There's a little bit more that I need to do. Um, you are very, very old soul. So of course, if you go back into karmic debt, there's always something that you can pull up. Absolutely. We don't doubt that. There's always something you can pull up. You also have an extraordinarily, um, extraordinary uh, imagination, which is your creative type, storytellers, beautiful. I mean, you can go from like zero to 102 seconds. So incredibly creative and imaginative um, and that you bring and infuse into your life. And if you infuse that into your life and everything that you do, there's nothing that you can't do in this lifetime. I mean, also alchemy, of course, that works with your mind frame too, because the way in which you work, anything is possible. It's all about transmuting and moving forward. You also understand the real remnants of ego and how that works, especially in alchemy. Um, I want this to move with my mind. I want this, you know, how it works with your ego versus why you're training yourself for something. This you intrinsically know. You have all of this because you were alchemists in many, many different lifetimes before. Yes, this is not your first rodeo. So you feel as though you're on um, the precipice of something big. Most of you already stepped into this new timeline. So all of this is perfectly wonderful and it's time for ceremony. It's time for moving forward. You absolutely know it's time for celebrating and all of that. Um, but at the same time, you tend to pull yourself back and say, there's a little bit more than I need to do. I'm not sure that I'm ready yet. So it's about really understanding that you're ready when you're ready and you are absolutely ready. However, 
if you don't feel ready, there might be something that you do need to transmute. And this essence of transmutation that's that's gonna that you're gonna perform for yourself will be the last sort of uh, piece in the jigsaw puzzle. And also, it'll it'll open you up to another level of healing that you're able to administer to others and to yourself too. So this is all part of the journey. Let's see what we have for you here. Um, got some energy of the unicorn. So. It's not that you don't feel as though you don't have anything to offer, you don't have enough to offer. It's not that. It's just that the essence of you, because your soul is so old, there's still an essence of you that does things sort of in the old ways one way or another. There's an essence of you that wonders if what you have to bring and integrate into the world, if they're ready to hear it, if, it's, if the timing is right. Uh, if you'll be he uh, heard properly in the past, you've been misrepresented, misunderstood. Um, so this has this been a little bit of a painful era for you. So moving forward uh, in this lifetime, it's been difficult. So put yourself out there, fireworks, right? So it's about putting yourself out there anyway, right? And then rainforest, your good luck cards. So regardless of how you feel, it's... Uh, but it's not regardless of how you feel. How you feel is how you feel, and that's very important. But we can assure you that moving forward, whatever you have and whatever you're offering the world is more than enough. And there's nothing more for you to do except for the sort of the, the small inkling of something that's going on. Um, let's find out what that is. It feels as though there's something. But yeah, there's the timing is there. Uh, putting yourself out there is there. And also... You know, there's a there's a blunt aspect to you that came up with Paul too, but you sort of don't. You do. I mean, you you do wrap it up in some love, but you know, you do come across in a way that people listen to because you don't you don't suffer fools lightly. There's an essence of you that's very fiery. When people are manipulative, you don't like that. Success. There you go. It's coming in. It's absolutely coming in. Sanctuary. I am divinely guided, gently and lovingly, and on this voyage. So you're being asked to move forward. The success is there. Um, and also you're being asked to understand that the way in which you articulate is the way that you are. Now, in the past, you've gotten the impression to dumb yourself down. Now, some people may have been jealous of how you communicated or how expansive you were or how funny you were or something, so they wanted to dumb you down. Um, and this was done in many different ways, probably from your peers, maybe not friends or close friends, but it's been done before. So you've gotten this energy of when you get out there and you really become who you are, uh, you, you're, you're being asked to uh, dumb yourself down. Now, there's an element of you and it keeps coming up with Robin Williams, you know, how sort of crazy all the voices and this, that, and the other. There might be an element to you like that, sort of this sort of hyper element to you or how your mind works and how it moves through or when you get to that level of excitement, you really can, but you're very performative in that way. And... Um, People have tried to dumb that down in one way, but that was just jealousy or they couldn't handle it or this, that, and the other. It wasn't because you weren't brilliant at what you did. So this, this energy of coming into completely who you are, because you're only gonna do this moving forward and click into this timeline, doing it the completely the way that you are. You are wondering how that's going to look. Now you've accepted absolutely all aspects of yourself and you do know that when you move forward, the success is there. You do feel it, you can energize into it. You understand that. You also understand how to transmute energy. You do understand the alchemical stage. You've understood that you were at fear, you've moved up into love you've understand all of those stages they were not easy stages and yes they took a while you also understand that you're able to do this for other people but in order for you to really do that you have to get out there um, there's a certain amount of success that you've had from doing it from a comfort zone nothing wrong with that that's wonderful that comfort zone really really clicked you into that firm foundation for you to be able to move forward from that so it was really important for you to do it from that firm foundation there was a little sanctuary in and around it but that sanctuary is sort of run out for one of a better term really and for you to gain what it is that you want that momentum that you've already started you need to really come out of the sanctuary mode and go full throttle but when you've gone through full throttle before you know um, you intimidate people right 
So this is all about you going out there on your own terms and offering it up the way that you want to. And it's really important that you do this from the beginning because as you go out there, if people um, even sense that there is a way that they can dumb you down, they will try to do that. Now you won't let them do it, but you don't want any of that if you can help it. You don't want any of that um, um, energy in and around you. You wanna start from a place and then grow from there. Now you'll be able to work with it, that's fine, but there's no reason for you to be able to, to work with any of this energy of people trying to dumb you down or oppress you in any way. They're not gonna be able to do it, but why work with that energy? Why even attract that energy to you so that you can learn that lesson? You're being asked to really integrate this lesson now before you move forward. Now, when we say move forward, you've already moved forward. You're on this timeline. You're on this voyage. You are safe um, no matter where you are, but you are being asked to come out of the sanctuary and move forward on your own terms. So be that zany person. Say what you need to say. Um, the alchemy within you, you know in which how energy works. You know how to transmute it. You know how to work it. So you've spent a good portion of your time figuring out how other people work and how you can work in and around that energy, almost like a chameleon. Some of you actually lost aspects of yourself before because you were so used to fitting in to different situations that you lost a little bit of yourself. You're getting yourself back now. You are fireworks, you're all fiery but you also have that moon energy going on. You have that divine feminine energy going on. You have that whimsical energy going on. You have that hyper energy going on. Um, you know, you, you have that dark sense of humor and that mysterious energy going on. Um, there's a little bit of airy fairy going on too. You have all of these beautiful things going on. So, and that's, the exact package that you have is exactly what the world needs. So not dumbing yourself down, not dumbing what you can offer the world down, moving out in the way that you want to and setting the precedence in the future for the way that um, the universe will perceive you. If you put yourself out there and say, this is who I am, then that's how you will be perceived. Uh, the people who are not interested in perceiving who you are, they just won't be in and around your energy. And the people that do see who you are, see you on full throttle and go, this person, I wanna work with this person. So let's get you some tarot. You're already, this is the reason why it's coming up is because you're already on this beautiful timeline. Now I did see this as I picked it up, the magician. So we talked about the mysteriousness, the beauty, um, acclimating to different uh, perceptions and different ways. And there's ways in which you are still going to be able to do that. You know how to do that to get what you want. You're very smart, not manipulative. You could have been prone to that, but you've moved out of that energy, but you know what to say, when to say it. You're very charming. Um, you have that magnetic energy. Uh, this energy of the magician fused with the energy that you have already with the essence of alchemy makes you an extremely powerful person. So you were not here to dumb yourself down in any way, shape or form. And you're here to show that other people, um, just by being you, that they can be exactly who they are too. So you may have been dumbed down in a way, um, even from family members, not necessarily in a, in a cruel way, but in a way that, you know, children were seen and not heard, or um, you weren't seen for who you were, or there was so much drama going on in the family. This is a general reading. This won't be for everybody, but um, there was so much drama going on in the family that they just didn't see you. They couldn't see you. You know, um, there was just too much going on and they couldn't cope with you on top of everything else. For whatever it is, there was, there was a slight invisibility kind of essence there, but there isn't an invisibility with you. You're very vavum kind of thing. And there was an aspect to you that was very vavum and maybe whoever was around you couldn't deal with that because of everything that was going on in their life. But they weren't trying to dumb you down because they thought you were inappropriate per se. It's just that, um, you know, they didn't know how to deal with it. They didn't have enough energy of it. But of course, when you're young, you know, you don't know that. So there's been an element of you, a good portion of your life we're going to do. Um, I'm going to move this up here with the magician we're going to do four for four here. Um, so as you're growing up, you get the message that you're too much. You're too much. Oops, sorry, as I throw the camera. <laughs> you're too much to dumb yourself down. And in order to be integrated into the world, in order to be seen, you learn that if you dumb yourself down, 
you know, um, you're not too much for people. However, that didn't work for you either because then you felt inadequate, you didn't feel like yourself and you didn't feel like you belonged. So this is an element of bringing all of that together. All of this work has been done. You've healed from that. This again, it's not going down the rabbit hole and doing, you know, uh, doing a bunch of courses and, um, you know, going off for uh, a year and a day to figure out all of this. A lot of this abandonment, a lot of this, how you were perceived has been healed already. What it is, it's taking this beautiful alchemy energy and bringing it all in and transmuting it and transmuting it once and for all. So you stand in your own prime, that you stand in your own beauty. And no matter what you stand in, this is who I am. And you offer that to the world on your own terms. And this is very important. It needs to be on your own terms. You will not be dumbing down your magic for anyone anymore. That's it. You've got the King of Wands, all of this passion, all of this energy that you've had within you your entire life. Some of it's kind of like almost like wanting to explode or it has done at certain times. Some of you may have even had sort of angry spouts that, you know, um, sprouting out at people and uh, angry stuff coming out at inopportune moments. I mean, the people who the people who usually got the anger would say for most of you, 99.9% .9 of the time deserved it. But there's a time and a place you know, the anger coming out at different times, but this was a passion and, and an energy that was dumbed down and repressed so much that it came out in op inopportune times. This is part of what you've been transmuting and your energy has been getting lighter. You've been moving forward. Some of you may have had some stomach issues um, in and around the past couple of weeks. A lot of that is transforming, transmuting and, and moving out because the first, second, especially the third chakra, the I am chakra too, that's where you hit a lot of your talents too, a lot of the beauty and dumbed yourself down a little bit. Now, you know how talented you are, but you haven't seen it out in action in the world yet. So you don't even have a clue at what you could achieve. Whatever you think you can achieve, it times it by a thousand, a million, and that's where you can be. So we've got the 10 of discs here under ceremony. So this is about moving forward, your ceremony, bringing things forward, bringing your knowledge to the world the way in which you want to. Yes, it's gonna look a little bit different, um, for people who um, see it as a little bit zany or out there, they're not going to work with you. That's fine. But really, really encompassing all of that brings you into this mentality of knowing that you can help people and being there for people. And what do we have here? We have the Five of Swords reversed under karmic debt, and then we have the Queen of Wands. So it's interesting that we have the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands on opposite sides. One of them, this is um, this depleted energy that was repressed, and this is the actual energy coming in underneath the offerings that is reversed. So this is you coming into that. And also the Five of Swords of not holding other people's judgments for yourself. If people judge you or try to dumb you down, that is absolutely nothing to do with you. That is pure projection. You can send that energy back. Even if it happened when you were 13 or 14, send that energy back. That's fine. Any situation that you go back to where you were, you know, you were felt like you needed to dumb down and it was an actual like, this is too much, stop it right now. Take that situation in meditation and put that energy back, pull that energy back and give it back to that person. You can absolutely do that. Even if that person no longer lives on this earth that they passed on or you're no longer in contact with them, it doesn't matter. That energy goes back to where it belongs. You will not be taking on that energy anymore. You're not taking on any more energy of anybody else anymore. This is all about you and reclaiming your strength and reclaiming your beauty as you offer up who you are in the world. You've got the you you've got the good luck card, and you absolutely know that once you put yourself out there, that mystery and that knowledge of what you have, and the fact that you're not dumbing yourself down anymore, so this passion, this kinetic energy, is able to move forward. And as it's free and expansive, it's able to transmute because you're an alchemist. It's able to transmute all those lower energies into higher energies. This is something that you can do now. You can absolutely do. So what you can do, you can transmute it. You can send that energy back as you transmute it. You can send that energy back to the original person that tried to dumb you down as transmuted love. You can do all of that. This is something that you're bringing to the world and it will be very, very successful once you own it and own who you are in your own particular way. Yes, nobody's better or worse than anyone else and we are absolutely all connected. However, and this is very important, we all have different blueprints, we're all here for different reasons, we're all extremely unique 
and the world needs every single one of us. Even if, you know, somebody's doing something that they don't like and that's triggering you, that's something that you can learn from. Everybody has their own path, whether you agree with the path or not. Each and every person has their own path here and it's something that they need to move through and it's something that they've signed on for. It's their blueprint. So nobody needs to change because you don't like it. If Again, if it's triggering you, it's something that you can learn from, but you don't need to include them in order to do it. This is something that you've been learning. This is something that you've been doing in the transmuting stage. So actively doing this for yourself to gain that absolute beautiful and to, to bring this alchemy up to the highest height that you absolutely have and moving it forward on your own terms brings this incredible strength into the world that's just going to be brilliant for you and there's just no way that any of this is going to fall short let's get you a couple more cards um i'm going to do one more from here but most of you are already on this timeline. It's about activating this timeline a little bit differently that you've been doing absolutely balance. So you've got the balance between the old and the new. You've got the, the balance between the fire and ice. You've also got the balance between the two different structures of fire that you have, the passionate fire, the dumbed down power, uh, power of that, that fire, bringing it together and moving it forward as a catalyst for what you want. So some of you may have even had bad skin at some point too, and that's because of the anger and the fire that would have been repressed. Um, for some of you who are, it's not about being more powerful or not powerful, it's about how far you repressed your emotions, but um, some of you may have had like light bulbs kind of flicker and um, uh, electronics at some point not working for you because you spark them out. That's um, just an indication of your energy and how powerful your energy is, especially when you repress it. So if it's not working, like, you know, we're circuits, we're electrical circuits. If it's not working um, systematically through your system like that, then it can short circuit something else. So that's something that you've moved through, but just as an understanding of how powerful you are. This is about bringing up all of that energy and moving forward on your own terms. So that really means going for it, you know? I mean, I'm sure once or twice, you know, Robin Williams had somebody say to them, man, you're a bit too much, or you're, you're a lot, you know? But, you know, that didn't stop him. He had a successful career. He had other stuff going on, God rest his soul, but he had a successful career and he was brilliant at, at, at what he did. And there's never gonna be another Robin Williams in this lifetime, in probably any other lifetime. I mean, never. So this is, this is the area of healing that you're at. This is the area of alchemy that you're at. This is how unique you are and you can click into this energy. You're as unique as Robin Williams moving forward. So this is really clicking into, yeah, all that quirky parts of you, all of those other things that want to come out, all of it, fusing it all together and saying, this is who I am, not dumbing yourself down in any way, shape or form, or second guessing who you are, second guessing how you say things, or for you, second guessing how you come across, like you're in control of that. You know, just doing it and getting it out there. The right people will be in and around you. You don't have to worry about that. You're not here for everybody to love you. You're not here for everybody to like you. You know, that's fine. So you've got the tower that popped out here and you've got the star, two beautiful cards. So yeah, something is crumbling. But again, this could have been, this could have been like a little bit overwhelming to somebody else, but the tower crumbling, first of all, you've got the third eye up there. You know it's crumbling. You're able to transmute this energy. As it's crumbling, you're watching it. And some of you are just like, you know, uh, lighting your cigarettes off the flame. You've got this. You've absolutely got this. It moves you into the energy of the star, which is peaceful energy. is moving forward. It's pouring out everything that you know into the world and moving it forward, knowing that you have the guidance, the intuition, and also the temperance, this beautiful um, essence of articulation and gorgeousness. For, so as... Uh, for as long as you are like sort of hyper and this, that, and the other, and have this like passionate kinetic energy, you also have this undertone of wisdom and beauty and this very regal queen of wands, absolutely this regal energy of, you know, can't be messed with, um, know who you are, all of that, absolutely. And you're the sort of person that across the room, I know if you have kids or if you want kids or 
you know, just at people anyway, you know, you can look across the room and give people the look like I'm done and people know, you know, you could absolutely say what you need to say without even opening your mouth. You've got that expressiveness, you've got that, but you've also got that, that, um, that very strength, that, um, integrated strength of people knowing who you are before you even open your mouth. So something is shifting for you in a big way. Again, for, for, for other people, this would have been kind of a bigger deal, but it's not for you. Um, so, you know, not focusing on everything that's crumbling, but also um, moving your energy to how you're transmuting and alchemizing that energy that's crumbling and moving it into something else. And all of it should be moving in the version of you that you're presenting to the world. And the version of you that you're presenting to the world is that balance of exactly who you are, not holding yourself back. So that regal mystical side, also that really beautiful sort of um, understanding side too. There's a very, there's a real patience to you when you're speaking to people and, and really hearing what they have to say. You're a brilliant listener getting out there doing that. Coming out of your box, out of your sanctuary to take things one step further. You're already on this timeline. It's about activating it fully. And also the good luck card, the success is there. The voyage is, it's, it's guaranteed to move forward. This is just something to make the voyage far more impressive, far more interesting. And whatever you're offering the world, doing it with 100% of the energy behind you, not just, all right, I'm doing it, but let's see how it goes. Like, no, I'm doing it. This is how it's gonna go. So this is your time to step into all of this. And you've been doing this work, this beautiful work, your entire life. So this is a way that you can bring this transmutative, I don't think that's a word, transmutive <laughs> word to this beautiful planet and do it on your own terms. And everything that you've done and everything that you stand for is in the purity of light. You're coming from a place of pure light um, because you've transmuted the lower sense. You really understand fear. You've moved through it. Uh, we talked about fear a lot and transmuting it in the previous, I think it's the previous or maybe the one before, I think it's the previous reading. It's been coming up for a lot of people because of course there's a lot of fear in the world and people are acting from it um, and even integrating it and relying on it. And, you know, and this is something that you moved away from as something you're completely transmuting and moving away from and moving forward. So this is absolutely needed in this lifetime and you are here to do exactly what you're meant to do on your own terms without dumbing yourself down. Not even an inch of you. You've absolutely got this. So this is what we have for you, Pile 3. This is a wonderful, wonderful voyage that you're on. Should you decide to take it, but there's no reason why you wouldn't. You've already activated the timeline. It's just pulling it closer to you. You have all the magician status and everything you need to move forward. So, and again, tower card, pff, nothing for you. Nothing for you, alchemist. Wouldn't even worry about it. So we are sending you support, no matter who you are and where you are in the world. Please stay safe and sane, but as we say, not too safe, but stay mentally and physically safe, of course. But for you, outside of the sanctuary, outside of the box, go get your life. And until we meet again, bye-bye.